Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is silver nanoparticles and their biomedical applications. This session will cover everything from what silver nanoparticles are, different synthesis approaches, their unique properties, and the fascinating ways they are being used in the medical field. Let's get started. As we all know, nanoparticles are very tiny particles, so small that our eyes cannot see them. When materials are reduced to the nanoscale, they start to exhibit different properties compared to their bulk. This change in properties is due to the increased surface area and the quantum effects that dominate at the nanoscale. Let's take a closer look at what happens when silver is transformed into silver nanoparticles. Look at bulk silver, the metal we're all familiar with. It's shiny, gray, and solid. But when silver is turned into nanoparticles, something interesting happens, the color changes. Bulk silver is typically a shiny, metallic color. However, when silver is reduced to nanoparticles, it can exhibit a range of colors, from yellow to red to green. This color change is due to the phenomenon known as surface plasmon resonance, where the electrons on the surface of the nanoparticles resonate with specific wavelengths of light, giving rise to different colors. Have you thought about why we need silver nanoparticles? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, Silver nanoparticles have different properties, not just the color change. They possess other interesting properties such as antibacterial, antiviral, and anti-inflammatory activities, making them incredibly valuable in many fields, especially in medicine. Now, let's talk about the different synthesis approaches for silver nanoparticles. There are several methods, but we'll focus on the three main categories, physical, chemical, and biological methods. In general, we can synthesize nanoparticles by two approaches, top-down and bottom-up synthesis. In the top-down approach, bulk materials are broken down into smaller and smaller pieces until they reach the nanoscale. These processes physically break down larger silver into nanoscale particles. However, this method can sometimes lead to non-uniform particle sizes and shapes. This method involves physical processes such as laser ablation, electrospraying, inert gas condensation, physical vapor deposition and laser pyrolysis. In the bottom-up approach, nanoparticles are built up from atomic or molecular precursors. This method involves chemical processes where silver ions Ag are reduced to form silver nanoparticles. Some common techniques include chemical reduction. Silver ions are reduced using reducing agents such as sodium borohydride or citrate in a solution, leading to the formation of silver nanoparticles. Sol gel process involves the transition of a solution into a gel, followed by drying and heat treatment to form nanoparticles. Other chemical synthesis methods are hydrothermal synthesize and chemical vapor deposition. Biological methods. Using biological agents like plant extracts, microorganisms, or enzymes and algae to reduce silver ions and stabilize the nanoparticles. These processes typically result in more uniform and controlled particle sizes and shapes compared to the top-down approach. Now, let's talk about the properties of the silver nanoparticles. Silver nanoparticles interact with light with exceptional efficiency, exhibiting strong absorption and scattering properties. This is due to the conduction electrons on the surface of the metal undergoing collective oscillations when excited by light at specific wavelengths, a phenomenon known as surface plasmon resonance. Surface plasmon resonance significantly enhances the absorption and scattering intensities of silver nanoparticles compared to non-plasmonic nanoparticles of the same size. The absorption and scattering characteristics of silver nanoparticles can be adjusted by manipulating their size, shape, and the local refractive index near the particle surface. Additionally, silver nanoparticle optical properties also depend on the refractive index near the nanoparticle surface. As the refractive index near the nanoparticle surface increases, the nanoparticle extinction spectrum shifts to longer wavelengths known as red shifting. Practically, this means that the nanoparticle extinction peak location will shift to shorter wavelengths, blue shift, if the particles are transferred from water, refractive index equals 1.33, to air, refractive index equals 1.00, or shift to longer wavelengths if the particles are transferred to oil, refractive index equals 1.5. Furthermore, the optical properties of silver nanoparticles change when particles aggregate and the conduction electrons near each particle surface become delocalized and are shared amongst neighboring particles. When this occurs, 
the surface plasmon resonance shifts to lower energies, causing the absorption and scattering peaks to redshift to longer wavelengths. Antibacterial activity of silver nanoparticles. The antibacterial action of silver is utilized in many consumer medical devices and products. Silver nanoparticles shows greater toxicity to microorganisms compared with other metals. Silver nanoparticles can destroy multiple drug-resistant strains and prevent biofilm formation, indicating significant potential in antibacterial application. There are two antibacterial mechanisms are widely accepted, namely contact killing and ion-mediated killing. Silver nanoparticles possess superior physiochemical and biological properties compared to bulk silver. They can anchor to and penetrate bacterial cell walls, causing membrane damage and leading to cell content leakage and bacterial death. Silver nanoparticles show stronger antibacterial effects on gram-negative bacteria due to their thinner cell walls, 3 to 4 nanometers compared to gram-positive bacteria, 30 nanometers. The negative charge of bacterial cell membranes attracts the positively charged silver nanoparticles, enhancing their attachment and antibacterial activity. Once inside the bacteria, silver nanoparticles interact with cellular structures and biomolecules, disrupting functions and leading to cell death. They denature ribosomes, inhibit protein synthesis, and interfere with enzymes like beta-galactosidase. Silver nanoparticles also generate high levels of reactive oxygen species, which cause oxidative stress, damage DNA, lipids, and proteins, and inhibit cellular respiration. Additionally, silver nanoparticles down-regulate antioxidant enzymes, leading to further ROS accumulation and cellular damage, ultimately causing bacterial death. An important factor in the antimicrobial efficacy of silver nanoparticles is the surface area of the nanomaterials. Silver nanoparticles with a higher surface area can sustainably release more Ag plus ions both inside and outside bacterial cells. The highest concentration of released silver ions is observed in silver nanoparticles with the greatest surface area, enhancing their antimicrobial properties. Conversely, silver nanoparticles with the lowest surface area release fewer silver ions, resulting in weaker antimicrobial effects. The antimicrobial mechanism of silver involves interaction with sulfhydryl groups in enzymes and proteins. Silver ions can bind to cell membrane proteins, forming stable bonds and leading to protein deactivation. Functionalization of silver nanoparticles. Silver nanoparticles can be functionalized with various molecules to enhance their properties and tailor them for specific applications. Key types of functional molecules include DNA, RNA and oligonucleotides, peptides and antibodies, fluorescent dyes, polymers, drugs, tumor markers, enzymes and other proteins. The effectiveness of functionalization depends on several factors such as particle size, surface chemistry, ligands and functional groups. These tailored silver nanoparticles find applications in medicine, diagnostics, imaging, and environmental monitoring. Applications of silver nanoparticles. The special physiochemical properties of silver nanoparticles make the nanoparticles and composites having considerable application prospects in the biomedical field such as wound healing, antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, tissue regeneration, biosensing and imaging, cancer therapy and anti-diabetic applications. Here I am explaining little detailed about some applications. Multiplex detection of pathogens. Silver nanoparticles offer a powerful tool for multiplex detection of pathogens, combining high sensitivity, specificity, and rapid response times. Their ability to be functionalized with various biomolecules makes them versatile in detecting multiple pathogens simultaneously. This capability is especially valuable in clinical diagnostics, providing efficient and accurate results essential for effective healthcare management. Here you can see the multiplex detection using silver nanoparticles developed by a group of researchers. Here antibodies for specific viral proteins, Dengue NS1, Ebola GP, Yellow Fever NS1, air printed on separate detection areas. A mixture of silver nanoparticles conjugated to these antibodies is placed in a conjugate pad. When a sample containing the viral biomarkers is introduced, the biomarkers bind to their corresponding silver nanoparticles conjugated antibodies. These complexes move to the detection areas, forming colored bands at specific lines corresponding to each biomarker detected. Now looks at another application, 
Silver nanoparticles as SIRS substrate. Silver nanoparticles are widely used as substrates in surface-enhanced Raman spectroscopy or SIRS due to their unique optical properties and ability to significantly enhance the Raman scattering signal of adsorbed molecules. So let's discuss the basics of SIRS. SIRS is a powerful analytical technique that enhances the Raman scattering of molecules adsorbed on rough metal surfaces or nanostructures. This enhancement allows for the detection of very low concentrations of substances, making SIRS a highly sensitive method for chemical and biological sensing. Let's discuss the role of silver nanoparticles. Silver nanoparticles are particularly effective as SIRS substrates for several reasons. The first reason is the localized surface plasmon resonance. Silver nanoparticles exhibit strong localized surface plasmon resonance in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. As I mentioned earlier, Localized surface plasmon resonance is a collective oscillation of conduction electrons at the surface of the nanoparticles when excited by light. This resonance creates intense electromagnetic fields near the nanoparticle surface, which are crucial for enhancing the Raman signal of molecules located in these hot spots. There are two primary mechanisms through which silver nanoparticles enhance the Raman signal. The first one is the electromagnetic enhancement. This is the dominant mechanism where the local electromagnetic field around the nanoparticle is amplified due to localized surface plasmon resonance. The Raman signal of molecules within this enhanced field is greatly increased. Second one is the chemical enhancement. This involves charge transfer between the molecule and the metal surface, leading to an increase in Raman cross-section. Although less significant than electromagnetic enhancement, it contributes to the overall SIRS effect. Another reason the silver nanoparticles used as SIRS substrates is the tunability. The optical properties of silver nanoparticles can be tuned by varying their size, shape, and the surrounding medium. This tunability allows for optimization of the SIRS substrate to match the excitation wavelength of the Raman spectrometer, maximizing the enhancement effect. Other reasons are high enhancement factor. Silver nanoparticles provide a high enhancement factor often on the order of 10 to the power 6 to 10 to the power 8, which means that the Raman signal of a molecule can be amplified by up to 100 million times compared to its normal Raman signal. We can use the silver nanoparticle SIR substrates for different applications including chemical sensing including detection of pollutants, pesticides, and other chemical contaminants. Biological sensing such as identification of biomolecules such as proteins, DNA, and pathogens. Medical diagnostics such as early detection of diseases through the identification of biomarkers. While silver nanoparticles are highly effective as SIRS substrates, there are some challenges and considerations, such as stability. Silver can be prone to oxidation and aggregation, which can reduce the reproducibility and reliability of SIRS measurements. Uniformity. Achieving a uniform and reproducible distribution of nanoparticles is critical for consistent SIRS signals. Surface chemistry. The interaction between the target molecules and the nanoparticle surface can affect the enhancement factor and needs to be carefully controlled. Another application is the photothermal therapy. Silver nanoparticles are emerging as highly effective agents in photothermal therapy for cancer treatment due to their strong localized surface plasmon resonance properties, which enable efficient absorption and conversion of near-infrared light into heat. This heat induces localized hyperthermia, selectively destroying cancer cells. The size and shape of silver nanoparticles can be tailored to optimize their optical properties for maximum photothermal conversion efficiency. Functionalization with biocompatible coatings and targeting ligands enhances their selectivity and reduces toxicity. Despite their potential, challenges such as ensuring biocompatibility, effective clearance, and safety must be addressed for clinical translation. Another application is the photodynamic therapy. Silver nanoparticles are gaining attention in photodynamic therapy due to their ability to enhance the generation of reactive oxygen species when activated by light. In photodynamic therapy, photosensitizers are excited by light to produce ROS, which can selectively destroy cancer cells. Silver nanoparticles can be used to deliver these photosensitizers more effectively and can themselves contribute to the production of ROS. Their surface plasmon resonance properties can be tuned to optimize light absorption and improve the efficacy of photodynamic therapy. Additionally, silver nanoparticles can be functionalized with targeting molecules to ensure selective accumulation in cancer cells, thereby minimizing damage to healthy tissues. 
This multifunctional approach enhances the overall therapeutic effect while addressing challenges related to specificity and efficiency in cancer treatment. Thank you for watching. See you soon with another interesting topics. Stay tuned.